It is an absolutely glorious day here on the Isle of Man and I am doing something a little bit different and instead of taking you to the garden today, I'm going to be taking you with me on a little bit of a trip around the Isle of Man and we're going to start in my home village of Laxey. Aside from having a beautiful beach, Laxey is also home to King Ori's grave. And just check this out. This is a multi-chambered stone tomb that is about 5,000 years old. And it is just sandwiched here amongst all these cottages and people parking on the street and going about their daily lives. And anywhere else in the world, this would be a major attraction and there'd be tons of people thronging to see it. And here, it's just part of the community. It's a little bit of an eerie feeling, but also cool. It's kind of a mystery, this tomb, because this is one part of it here, but if you walk through here, there's a second part to the tomb that is completely cut off from this one. So let's go over and check it out. It's across the street, actually. So this is the second part of King Ori's grave, and it's also shown to be a tomb and it's incredible to think that for 5,000 years these stones have stood here throughout all the peoples that have lived here in Laxey and they're still here it is incredible We've come all the way up to the most northern point of the Isle of Man. It's called the Point of Air, and it's huge expanses of rocky beaches. And just across the sea there is Scotland, and there's some lovely lighthouses up here. And it's just a, a really nice place to come up for a walk. So the entire beach is roped off right now. There's little signs all the way around, and I suspect that it's because there's nesting birds. What's it say? Yeah, Arctic tern, ringed plover, and oyster catchers are nesting on the beach until the 30th of August. Yeah, they're really camouflaged. You uh, don't really see them until you're right upon them. We've just stopped for some lunch at Blue Point, and this is a beach just, that's just around the west corner from the Point of Air. And from the Point of Air all the way down to Peel, where we're going next, it's just beaches. And it's a little bit rocky and a little bit sandy here, but a little bit further south, and it's just sandy beaches for as far as I can see, and hardly anyone on them. It's kind of a one of our hidden places here on the Isle of Man. It's such a beautiful day to have a picnic here. Let's do the devil's elbow. Is this it right here? Yeah, this is it. So you're not, yeah. you're not allowed to talk around the devil's elbow. Devil's Elbow, which is that really
really sharp bend in the road and you're not allowed to make any noise or to play music while you go around it and it's an old Manx superstition and Josh remembers going around that corner when he was in high school going down for football games and everyone was silent if anyone made any noise everyone would totally bowl them out afterwards and what's really interesting is just above the devil's elbow is another ancient Neolithic tomb. I've just dropped my car keys down there in those rocks. Oh my gosh. Josh is gonna see if he can come and try to find them. Fingers crossed. I'm just staying right here just so that he can have a look down and see if he spots them. So it was like down here somewhere. Oh my gosh, he sees them. The question is, can you reach them? Oh my God, show me. Oh my God. Oh. I need to get another set of keys made. So now with uh, the excitement of losing and finding my keys again, we're celebrating with an ice cream and we're gonna go for a walk around Peel Castle and people come to Peel obviously for these amazing beaches here, fun for the kids and the whole family and then also to visit the castle and it's actually said to be haunted by the Mardi Du, which is a black dog. It's really interesting. But we're just, we're not gonna go inside today, we're just gonna walk around the edges and uh, have a look at Fenella Beach as well. Just below Peel Castle is this little beach called Fenella Beach and it's covered in scallop shells. So scallops are a big industry, big fishing industry here on the island. I'm just gonna go down and have a quick peek see if we can find any whole shells. The reason that there are so many shells on this beach is that the scallops are harvested and then the shells are actually dumped into the sea over there off the cliffs and then they're washed up onto this beach by storms and the waves. And look at this, this is just a mountain of shells over in this corner of the beach. This is kind of cool. So through here, through this walkway, it looks like there's some kind of like opening here that goes down to the sea. And then up here in the wall, it looks like an old doorway. I wonder what it was used for. For the last thing that I'm going to show you today, we've got to climb to the top of this little hill. So this is what we climbed up to show you. The last time Josh and I were up here was for, what was it, the winter solstice? I think so, yeah. So we came up here at like four o'clock in the afternoon for sunset and it was bitterly cold but absolutely stunning. And this is also a multi-chambered Neolithic stone tomb. And there's a little bit more information on it over on my blog, and there'll be a link that pops up on the screen, but let's go have a closer look. Seeing all these tombs arranged in a circle really makes you wonder what was going on here. Was this 
just a burial place or some place of significant religious meaning. No one really knows. Well, I hope you enjoyed traveling around the Isle of Man with us today. And we showed you a few places. So Laxey, so that's the village where the allotment is and then traveling up north and spending some time on the beach, Peel Castle, and now finishing off here in beautiful Port Erin. Um, if you're interested in more of these types of videos of seeing more about the Isle of Man, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know with a comment down below. And I will be sure to share more about the Isle of Man. This is an absolutely incredible island. I'm so lucky to call it my home and I'm very happy to share more about it with you. And in any case, I will see you next week for another video here on the Lovely Greens YouTube channel and I'll be back to the normal schedule next week with something more gardening focused. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. You want to do the soundtrack for the end of the video? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>